Um, so you can see they want this equation of a line, y equals mx plus b, like slope intercept form, uh, which really just means we need the slope, we need the y intercept. Okay. Given two points, there's something that we could figure out, calculate pretty easily. Okay. That would be what? What can we find with those two points? Slope. The slope. We can find the slope. Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can just take negative 4. So it's leaving. Uh, negative 4 minus negative 3 over 9 minus 7. It's negative 4 plus 3 over 2. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So the slope is negative 1 half. It's Thing we already know now, negative one half. Right. We just need the y-intercept. Right. Well, I have a lot of an equation. I have y equals mx plus b. I just found the slope. And I have an x and a y. I have another x and a y. I have my choice of either point that I want to use. Either this x and y or this x and y. If I plug 7 into this equation I'm trying to write, I know that I should get out negative 3. So I can write this, negative 1 half times 7 plus b. And now I can use this to solve for b. So negative 3 equals negative 7 halves plus b. Add 7 halves, add 7 halves. Negative 3 plus 7 halves plus b. I'll make that negative uh, 6 halves plus 7 halves plus b. And b is 1 half. You get two points, I can solve for the slope. And then plug a point in with that slope and uh, find the y -inter. a very similar problem, it's just that they also give us a graph that kind of show us where those points are. So I can find the slope, I'm taking 4 minus 0, 4 minus 0 over 6 minus 3, that's 4 over 3, okay, so that's the slope. And again we have two points, alright, I'll use this one right here. So I have y equals mx plus b, I know the slope, I know an x, I know a y, I can plug all those things in. So 4 equals 4 thirds times 6 plus b, I just plug in x, I plug in y, I have the slope already, I'm just going to solve for b. 3 and 6 cancel, gives me a 2, that's 4 equals 8 plus b, subtract 8 on both sides and b is negative 4. Just give me a table of values. Oh, it, 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 oh, what does this table of values tell me? Points. points. It tells me a lot of points on the line, not just two. It's telling me lots of points on the line. So I can choose any of the points that I want. I can use this point and this point, this point and this point. It doesn't matter. I have my choice. I can pair them up any way I want. Different possibilities. So if I use these two points, do the exact same thing as before. I find the slope negative 6 minus negative 7 over 2 minus 1. Negative 6 minus negative 7 is going to be 1, and 2 minus 1 is 1, so the slope is 1. And then x and y, I can use any x and y that I want. I don't even have to use one that I used before, I can use that one. 
So the y is negative 4. I'm just plugging in negative 4 here. I'm plugging in 1 for the slope. Plugging in a 4 for the x. Negative 4 equals 1 the slope times 4 x plus b. Negative 4 plus, or negative 4 equals 4 plus b. Subtract 4 on both sides. Negative 8 equals b. So our equation is y equals 1x plus a negative 8. This one would be kind of interesting. Notice all the y values are the same. If you were to just think about the graph, or graph it really roughly, negative 8, negative 8, let's say that's right there, negative 8, negative 8, negative 6, negative 8, 0, negative 8. In fact, what is that right there? x is 0, y is negative 8. That's the y-intercept. The y-intercept, by definition, is when x is 0. Uh, 1, negative 8. Negative 8, 5 negative 8, everything has a y of negative 8. Look at that line. Right through there. What's the slope of that horizontal line? You know what the slope of a horizontal line is? It's 0. The slope is 0. If we're not sure, we could just take two points, like that one and say this one. Do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Over 1 minus 0 is 1. So the slope is 0. But if you write this down, you wouldn't even write y equals 0 times x. You could just y equals, and there's nothing, and plus b, whatever b is. And just establish b is negative 8. It's even given to us. So I was noticing that quite a few of you are getting these questions incorrect. Um, let's see. What is what is a y-intercept? What's the definition of the y-intercept? The part where the line connects with the y-line. The y-axis, yeah, the line crosses, or the graph, whatever the graph looks like, crosses the y-axis. That's right along here somewhere. And all along here, every point that it could po any point that it could possibly be, or any of them, is giving you a little hint here. X is zero. X is always zero on the y-axis. So if X is zero, what can we do with that information? This guy right here, yeah, yeah. that'll be the y-intercept. How do we find it? So we're going to get y by itself. Yes, it plus. Yes, we will do that. But just before that, just to make life a little easier. If x is 0, we'll just plug in 0 for x. Oh. 5 times 0 plus 6y equals 12. So now 6y equals 12, and y equals 2 if we divide by 6 on both sides. Go to the y-intercepts. It's as easy as plugging in zero over x. Same thing here. If I want to find the y-intercept, x is zero. Zero minus nine y equals negative nine. Negative nine y equals negative nine y equals one. Y-intercept.
already used this to write an equation of a line, but if I'm trying to write the equation of this line and I don't know what b is, but I do know a point that the line goes through, I can just plug this in for x, plug this in for y, and solve for b. y equals 5 ninths times negative 1 plus this mystery b. y equals negative 5 ninths plus b. Add 5 ninths to both sides. Okay. So 1 plus 5 ninths is 1 over 1. Plus 5 over 9, that's what b is going to be. So this is 9 over 9. So I found the denominator 14 over 9. B. Now I'm supposed to write the equation of the line. I have it. y equals 5 ninths x plus 14 ninths. Plug in your x and y and solve for b. 